Thank you. Yep. So I got to the Northridge International School, Cambodia. In North Anglia Education School. Hey John, what's How are you bro? You good? It's like probably the best, the best field in Cambodia. It's here. The best field here. in Cambodia? Yeah, and then over there they have tennis, tennis courts. They have an aquatic center for swimming. And so they do loads of sport, cricket, football, rugby. Badminton, yeah, everything. So are those also participants? Yeah, yeah. Are you? yeah. So that, that guy there is the uh, Australian ambassador. Oh, we? Oui. Yeah. So he referees. Um, yeah, really good guy. People list themselves on. Yeah. So we have a we have a Facebook group and Telegram group where we'll list all our names. Yeah. Um, before I think it was just before Christmas, we were getting like 40 to 50 people a week. So there'd be. Is that, is that a lot? Or? Well, it's, it's normally seven aside. I'm sorry for the ignorance. It's, no, no, know, it's I come from Israel. I have no <laughs> idea about <laughs> yeah. like this is sport is really unfamiliar to me. So in rugby, there's three types. There's obviously the contact where you do the big tackles. Yeah. Which we do um, on Sundays and uh, Thursdays. Oh, it's different than today. Yeah. Today is just touch, so a tackle, if you tackle one hand, just mm -hmm. play on. If you tackle in two hands, that's, you, you that's stop foul? and you play the ball for your leg. Is that a foul? No, no, that's a, that's a tackle. Okay, that's a tackle. Okay. So two, okay. two-handed touch, we call it. There is another type of rugby where you wear a belt and it has like two Velcro straps. Belt? Uh, which is, yeah. Okay. But uh, that's, that's called tag rugby and they don't really do that internationally, whereas this touch rugby is international. Like in Israel, we don't play rugby, but... Um, Soccer is a very uh, popular sport in yeah, Israel, yeah, yeah. as well as England. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you said you're a fan of uh, Leeds United. Leeds United. Leeds United. Two nights ago. Yeah, I told you I'm a fan of Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> Are you back? Are you back? Good. Okay, Cody, tell me a little bit what's uh, going to happen. So it's a bunch of expats, locals uh, coming together, playing a bit of touch. Uh, touch rugby is probably the most inclusive sport right now uh, because it includes people of all ages, uh, women, men. Um, before we get started, just to let you guys know, this is Vivo, he's a content creator, he's a YouTuber, so he's going to be filming us today, might get a bit of questions here and there. Um, so yeah, this is for his YouTube channel, so welcome to Cambodia first of all, Vivo. Unfortunately today we only have two females participating, but usually we have at least ten. But this doesn't feel, uh, I don't know, less convenient uh, when it's only like two females? Um, I think because myself and the other female player, we are from rugby playing country, so we are very comfortable being around the men playing rugby, um, whereas I think people that have never played rugby, it's a bit intimidating just seeing 30 males and you're maybe one of three females but all the men here are very accommodating like they know you're playing against females they're much more gentle against you they will take it a little bit slower just so that they can be comfortable because we want to grow the sport it's not here for us to show off and see look what we can do we're trying to grow the sport in Southeast Asia and just for everyone to have fun so, yeah. let's have a quick chat before we all disappear Yeah, I think today was a good session, so we'll put hands in. Yeah. Touch Rugby specifically, we've got a tournament planned in CM Reap. Uh, we're playing a team from CM Reap and Kempot, so it will be an uh, inter-provincial tournament. So please, those weekly sessions are important if you want to go to the tournament. Please have a good Saturday, travel safe, be safe, and see you guys in a week. Like okay. this, this okay. session of the I'm, everything's gonna be edited. Yes. But <laughs> um, so these guys, are Cody and John. Cody's yes. from South uh, Africa. South, yeah. England. And England. Yep. Leeds. Leeds. Mike Leeds. John is built. 
Say again, Johannesburg. Johannesburg, correct, yeah. Correct. And uh, I met them throughout the uh, expat Facebook group. Apparently, they're content creators. They have a, a vlog, which is also a podcast, which is yeah. about travel and also about interviews with people. Yeah. Correct. Am I correct. correct? Yeah, tell me a couple of uh, sentences about your vlog. Yeah. yeah. So, go for it, go for Yeah, it. so plus 855, it kind of, um, kind of came to fruition because me and Cody, we've kind of got similar stories. We're playing rugby league, traveling. Obviously, we both live in Cambodia. Um, in the same city and, and we just started documenting like what we what we do in our day-to-day -day lives with rugby um, And then also traveling and having fun and going out and then I'm a big fan of the Joe Rogan podcast And so we wanted to have that aspect of it where we cool. interview people so our, our interviews are across the boards of culture sports uh, fashion Lifestyle. Yeah, so yeah, check out their channel um, Our link is below I can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> <laughs> that feels so weird saying that.